Hello friends, this video, sets part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched sets part 1. Methods of representing a set. There are two methods to represent a set. One is the roster form and the second is set builder form. We will discuss both of these now. Roster form. In roster form, all the elements of the set are listed and they are separated by comma and enclosed with braces. Please note, there are three things that is important. All the elements are listed, they are separated by comma and they are enclosed with braces. For example, when we say, give me the set of all numbers in a dice. So we all know that these numbers are the only numbers that are there in die. In die you can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So when you say that I want to represent using roster form, what we do is we write all the elements. So all the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now we do a comma separation, comma, 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 comma and enclosed in the braces. That's what we do. And if we do this, this is called roster form. For example, when we say set of all vowels, we will say something like this A, E, I, O, U. So you see what I have done here is, I have written down all the elements separated by comma enclosed in the braces. This is the representation of roster form. Now there are some points that we should note in roster form. First, the order of the element is immaterial. For example, in the same scenario, if we say A, E, I, O, U for set of all vowels or we say A, U, I, O, U, I, O, E or we say U, E, I, O, A or O, E, I, A, U all are same as long as the number of elements and the elements are seen. For example, all these sets contains A, E, I, O, U. The order doesn't matter. So, please note, the order is immaterial. Order doesn't matter in poster form. Similarly, the dots at the end tell us that the set is infinite. Tell us that is wrong here, you can recut this, that that set continues infinitely. For example, when we say the set of odd national numbers, we say 1, 3, 5, dot, dot, dot. That means this set continues infinite. This is, this is as good as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. You keep on going. So, this is what, how we represent infinite set. You put three dots in the end. Similarly, in roster form, generally the element is not repeated. The element is not repeated. Please note, it is not repeated. For example, when we say we want to form a set of the letters forming school. So we see here S C H O L. These are the only four or five distinct letters. O is twice. So when I say the set of letters forming school, I have included O only once. I have not included O twice. O is included only once. So that means in roster form, the element is generally not repeated. Let me reiterate again because it's crucial. In roster form, all the elements are listed, separated by comma, enclosed within braces. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they are all separated by comma, enclosed by braces. This is the set describing all number in dice. Also, A, E, I, O, U, separated by comma, enclosed within braces. This represents set of all vowels in English alphabet. Second point we need to note is that the order in which the element are listed is immaterial. Order is immaterial. For example, when we say A, E, I, O, U or these 
vowels in any form it is all same now when we say we have three dots at the end that means that set continues infinitely also in roster form the elements are not repeated for example when we say we want to form the set of letters of the word school it is s c h o l since o was twice in school but while writing sets we wrote o only once because we avoid repetition it doesn't mean that if you write an element twice it will be wrong it will still be correct but the convention is that we generally don't repeat the elements in roster form in set builder form all the elements should possess a single common property which is not possessed by any element outside the set so you have to find a common property a common property is a very very crucial thing if you have a set of element which is not forming which is not having a single common property then you can't write that in set builder form for example when we say set of a e i o u we know that this is all vowels in english alphabet so no other element for example if i if i pick n n will not have this property z will not have this property so no other element no other english alphabet no other letters will have this property so if we get set like this then only we can write that set in set builder form for example for the same set a e i o u this is a roster form why it is roster form because all the elements are listed separated by comma and enclosed by brackets now for the same roster form set if you want to write in set builder we will do something like this we will say set is equal to curly bracket start x x colon x and we'll write the property it is something like this x and then we see property so it says this is the convention so here x is the vowel in english alphabet this is clear that in set builder common properties mandatory which is possessed by the elements in the set and no other element outside the set will have this property for example when we say a e i u we have we know these are all vowels in english alphabet and the way we represent is x colon and then say property so here we say x colon x is a vowel in english alphabet now let's discuss some of the important points which we have in set builder form the first is instead of letter x which we have used we can use any of the letter for example we can say y y is a vowel we can do something like this instead of x we can say z also we can say z z is a vowel so we need not use x now this colon is very much mandatory when you say let's suppose when you say x the semicolon x is a vowel this is wrong this colon is very very mandatory this is must also after the sign of the colon we write the property so here y is a vowel or z is a vowel this is the characteristic property possessed by elements of the set and they are enclosed in the braces this again the fourth point which i have already discussed if the set doesn't follow any pattern we can't write we can't write please note we can't write in set builder form that means any set we can write in roster form roster form is equal to any set we can write any set any set because we are jotting the elements but in set builder form in set builder form a pattern is a must only pattern set pattern set only now let's take some example of a uh, roster form or set builder form we'll have we'll have a question where in we'll ask whether it is a roster form or set builder form to clear our concepts on roster form and set builder form so when i say a x x is an integer and x is greater than minus 3 and less than 7 which form it is obviously it is a set builder form because in set builder form we have told that it is 
something like x and here we say property enclosure in braces so this satisfies the condition so it is set builder box in the second question we say b b is the set x colon x is a natural number again we see it follows the same pattern so this is also set builder box c we say x x is a two digit natural number so that some of this is 8 again here we see the elements has a common property that is sum of its digit is 8 and it is in the set builder form because it says x colon property enclosed in braces let's take an example of set d where we say x colon property and property is it's a prime number and which is a divisor of 60 again it is a property so all the elements which follows this property will be part of the set now let's take an example so this is a set builder form now e e is a set where all the elements are listed 3 6 9 12 so since all the elements are listed separated by comma enclosed within braces this is nothing but roster form we have discussed this in roster form all the elements are listed separated by comma enclosed in braces f f is again if you see all the elements are listed separated by comma enclosed within braces so f is also roster form i hope you are getting my point when all the elements are listed separated by comma enclosed within braces it is roster form and when we say x colon property this is also enclosed in braces this is set builder g g is 5 25 125 25. here also since all the elements are listed separated by comma enclosed in braces so this is also roster form Similarly for H, it says 2, 4, 6, dot, dot, dot. As we remember, this is nothing but 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. This is an infinite set. So since all the elements are listed, separated by comma, enclosed in braces. So this is also roster form. We'll take one more example. So in this, the three dots are in the center and till 100. So it is. it means it is 1, 4 is 2 square. 9 is 3 square, then it is 4 square, 5 square, it continues till 10 square is 100. So it continues till 10 square. So if you see right here also all the elements are listed, separated by comma and enclosed in braces, curly braces. So it is also in roster form. So if you see the first four where it says x colon property, these are in set builder form, I write set builder form. And the last five where all the elements are listed, separated by comma, enclosed in braces, these are all roster form. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.